द टॉपिक फॉर द सेशन इज कन्वल्यूशन कोडिंग इन कन्वल्यूशन कोडिंग आउटपुट बिट्स एट अ पर्टिकुलर इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम नॉट ओनली डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रेजेंट इनपुट्स एट दैट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंस ऑफ टाइम बट ऑल्सो ऑन एम माइनस वन इनपुट बिट्स ऑफ ब्लॉक्स विद दिस व्यू लेट इज डिफाइन अ फ्यू टर्म्स लेट एन रिप्रेजेंट नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट बिट्स at a particular interval of time so n represents number of output bits at a particular interval of time k represents number of input bits at a particular interval of time m represents number of flip flop stages students don't confuse it with number of flip flops it is number of flip flop stages l represents length of message to be encoded n into l plus m represents length of encoded sequence these are the terminologies n represents number of output bits at any particular time k represents number of input bits at any particular time entering the encoder circuit m represents number of flip flop stages l represents length of message n into l plus m represents length of encoded sequence so to encode using convolution coding we have two approaches one is time domain approach the second one is transform domain approach for the session we will be concentrating on time domain approach let it be time domain or transform domain approach let me tell you we should have impulse sequences to encode message to have the impulse sequences in the question they might have given you the impulse response directly impulse sequences directly or they might have given you encoder circuit and ask you to find out the encoded sequence for a particular message so let us take up a uh, encoded circuit and let us generate generator matrix so before we take up the encoder circuit we should know the general format of generator matrix for a two modulo to adder included in the encoder circuit we have the general form of generator matrix as g1 of 1 g1 of 2 all these g's represents the impulse sequence g2 of 1 g2 of 2 till g m plus 1 of 1 g m plus 1 of 2 but this doesn't make the entire length of uh, encoded sequence therefore for the less, rest of the length we will be adding zeros to make it to the length of encoded sequence so this forms the first row of generator matrix to form the second row rotate it once when you rotate it the last zeros will come and occupy the first place and the shifting takes place so this process is followed till we form l 
cross n into l plus m elements of generator matrix. So this is for a two modulo two adder in the encoder circuit. Now, now that we know the general form of generator matrix, we shall move on to solve a problem in time domain approach. Let's consider the encoder circuit given. So here, this is a two comma one comma two convolution encoder. 2 comma 1 comma 2 means to say in general it is a n comma k comma m. So we have n is equal to 2. That means to say we have two adders. One is top adder and the other one is bottom adder. The output is 2. That means to say there are two outputs at every particular interval of time. And k is equal to 1 represents number of input bits entering at any particular interval of time. So, there is one input bit entering at any particular interval of time. Therefore, k is equal to 1. m is equal to 2 represents the number of flip-flop stages. Here, there are two flip-flop stages. Therefore, m is equal to 2. Then we have the data or the message to be encoded as 10011. Therefore, the length of it is 5. In the matrix form, we represent it as D matrix, which has 1 row and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 columns. Now, to represent the impulse sequence, let us have this representation G1, G2 and G3. So, where there is connection to the adders, we represent those G's as 1's and the others as 0's. So, to the top adder, G1 is connected, G2 is connected and G3 is also connected. Therefore, the sequence will be 1, 1 and 1. When it comes to bottom adder, G1 is connected, G3 is connected but not G2. Therefore, the sequence would be 1, 0, 1. Let us represent it now. The G of 1 represents the top adder uh, sequence, which is nothing but 1, 1, 1, because all the uh, Gs are connected. Therefore, the impulse sequence will be 1, 1, 1. And G of 2 will be 1, 0, 1. With this, and as we know the general form of generator matrix, let us represent the generator matrix for this particular problem. So, the generator matrix should be of the order L cross N into L plus M. So, L here is 5. So, it should be 5 cross N into L plus M. So, N is 2 into L is 5 plus M is Two. Therefore, 7 into 2 is 14. Therefore, the length of generator matrix, that is the number of columns in the generator matrix should be 14. Let us see now how to represent it. So, we have G of G1 of 1 as 1, G, G2 of 1 as 1, G3 of 1 as 1, G1 of 2 as 1, G2 of 1, G2 of 2 as 0 and G3 of 2 as 1. Therefore, we have 1, 1 mm -hmm. which represents G1 of 1, G1 of 2. G Next, it is 1, 0 which is nothing but G2 of 1, G2 of 2. Next, we have 1, 1 which represents G3 of 1 and G3 of 2. So, we have only 6 bits here. We have to make it 14. Therefore, rest of the 8 bits should be zeros.
now this forms the first row of generator matrix to form the second row rotate it once to form the third row rotate it rotate the first row once likewise the other two rows to be formed this is the last row we have l minus 1 rotations therefore we have a 5 cross 14 which is the order of generator matrix now that we know g we know d we can find out encoded sequence which is c which is the product of d and g so now d as we already know it is 1001 and g is this matrix so let us perform matrix multiplication to obtain c which is nothing but the encoded sequence so here we have top adder as modulo to adder bottom adder also modulo to adder so we have 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 which is 1 next one is also a 1 next one we have 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 so 1 into 1 it is 1 next we have 1 into 0 plus 0 into 1 plus all zeros therefore it is a zero next we have 1 into 1 which is 1 likewise performing the matrix multiplication we have 1 into 1 1 into 0 Plus zero into one plus zero into one plus one into one, which is one. One into zero plus zero into one plus one zero into zero plus one into one, which is one. Next we have one into zero plus zero into zero plus zero into one plus one into one plus one into one. So one plus one, which is nothing but a zero. that is modulo in modulo to addition 1 plus 1 is a 0 next we have 1 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 1 plus 1 into 0 into 1 plus 1 which is 1 next we have likewise performing matrix multiplication we have 0 1 1 1 therefore this forms c There are totally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen bits, which forms the code sequence. This is convolution encoding using time domain approach.